The tragedy of a year ago, 32 students and faculty shot and killed on the campus of Virginia Tech University is remembered. At the University of New Haven, 32 students, one for each Virginia Tech victim, wear black with the exception of ribbons around their necks. Ribbons in the Virginia Tech colors made by friends and relatives of those who died. They lie silent for three minutes while the names of the dead are read. Ryan Clark, Austin Cloyd, Leading this demonstration, Gisela Marin. She's head of New Yorkers Against Gun Violence. Her daughter, Jessica Santos, was getting ready to start her sophomore year in 2006 here at the University of New Haven. She was killed in a random drive-by shooting in Yonkers, New York. This was something that I never expected to happen to me, a tragedy like this to touch my family. I lived in a nice neighborhood. That didn't happen in my neighborhood, but I've come to find that um, gun violence affects anyone, whether you live in inner city neighborhoods or in very affluent neighborhoods. She says the point of lying still for three minutes is to illustrate the time it takes to buy a gun at a gun show with no background check. It's a loophole that she's trying to get closed state by state. She says people who have not lived her nightmare don't understand. Until this happened to me, I didn't really understand how important it is to, you know, to try to do something about it before it becomes, you know, another Columbine, another Virginia Tech, or, you know, another tragedy like that. It is appropriate that many of the students taking part here are criminal justice majors. 48% of, of students here who major in criminal justice. So there was a lot of students who were interested, and, you know, they contacted me. They go, well, I'd love to be part of the protest. I was like, sure, why not? This type of demonstration was repeated across the nation, and Gisela continues to take her message to lawmakers, appearing in Albany last week to lobby New York legislators to close the gun show loophole. On the campus of the University of New Haven, Brian Burnell, NECN.